Chocolate Fox Show. The Chocolate Fox. Tiffany's doing all the hard work. Is this a Gen 1, Cody? <laughs> Look at the inside. Original Celine, man. Still rolling in, guys. Wrong again. Hey, eh, wrong. Hello, and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt, and guys, we're in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Made the trip last night in Tar Hill Fox, of course. This is the second week in a row I've been out of town. We were in Tennessee last weekend. Now in Hershey, PA, got 1,700 miles on the car, but uh, she's doing good. She's doing good. What we are here for, though, is the Chocolate Fox Show. And as you can see, I'm already surrounded by Fox bodies, but nothing like it's going to be tomorrow. However, today we had the pre-meet. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of where the show is going to be tomorrow. Amazing venue. Really excited about it. And just going to be a lot of Fox bodies. Last time was Ford Takeover, lots of Fords, but this is all about the Fox bodies. Pretty excited about it, and even found Emerald Green Coupe over there. Pony 1992. Here's your Emerald Green Coupe. I don't think she wants to get rid of it though. Better bring big money if you want it, but uh, yes, we did find an Emerald Green Coupe, finally. Haven't seen one of these before, guys. A Mr. Chrome painted Fox body, just like the SN95 Cobras. Or I guess that was, I think that was one year only Cobra, but look at the engine bay, oh my gosh. And apparently this isn't even the race car. <laughs> You look at it, they're telling me it's not a race car. And then you look over here, this is not a race car either. <laughs> look at that, look at that Vortec. The race car, I don't know, it's one of those over there, I'm scared. I'm scared. All right, the one in the middle? No, to the left. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of see it now with the hood. Yeah, yeah. It, it flies off probably when they hit the gas, yeah. the hood flies off with a parachute. Here we go, man. Already badged out for Chocolate Fox too, I love it. Yeah, okay, all right, I, I believe you. This is more race car. It still has some interior though, it still has some interior there. <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's not not uh, comfortable seats, so okay, gets the race car duty. I'm actually getting them to show me guys underneath the hood here of the race car. It's gonna be a four cylinder turbo, right? Absolutely, just a big four turbo. turbo. <laughs> that one pop up. See, race cars have hoods you have to open with an Allen. <laughs> Oh, there you go. go. Yeah, <laughs> All right, I'm anticipating here. Whoa, already oh, right, see. <laughs> Good God. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. He's trying to catch his rag on fire, though. Oh, no, it's kissing me. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, now nobody can park over there. Exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, he needs two parking spots. Wow. I mean, that is a big turbo. I can't get over that turbo. How, how big is the turbo? 88. 88, okay. All right. Now I need to chalk them into a ride, right? <laughs> All right, this is where it's going to be tomorrow, the main show. We're seeing we're setting up tents already out here. I mean, this is going to be, it's going to be epic, guys. It's going to be epic. Uh, VIP parking's all over here. But that's tomorrow. Uh, today, like I said, we're heading over to the pre-meet. And I've still got some of these shirts I got to get rid of. I'm trying to get rid of the last of these Gearhead 704 shirts. Still got some of the OG blue ones. Anyway, Tiffany's going to be taking care of that. Tiffany is here with me, so let's pack up the shirts. Also, I think we got to clean the car. I got a couple bugs. Like I said, I've got Tiffany here with me. The car is really dirty. She just cleaned it up, but then we took, you know, a little trip. Took a little trip. I was sitting here wasting water while Tiffany's doing all the hard work. Say hi to the channel, Tiffany. <laughs> She's putting the work in. She ain't got no time to play around, guys. She's putting that work in. while Tiffany's doing most of the work. Uh, some of you guys have asked me what I use on my top to keep it so black and dark and shiny. Here you go, guys. Tire Shine from Crofgate, Tire Shine Plus. You can use it on tires and you can use it on convertible tops. Who knew? Made it to the pre-meet. I think all the convertibles are gonna be over here, maybe? Maybe not, I don't know. I don't see any other verts yet. So found one here, but yeah, I told you guys, told you guys the top looks good. Tiffany's already still, look at her. Look at her go, man. She makes Star Hill Fox look good. You make her look good. All about the details, baby. Yeah, you make her. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, here's the top, guys. I'm not sure how it's showing up on video, but it's really clean. That tire shine works great, although I do see a couple spots over there. But yeah, uh, they're gonna start rolling in soon. Gonna be a good time. And uh, I'll get Tiffany on the merch game. So, you know, sell the shirts, baby, sell the shirts. <laughs> make me, make me that money. <laughs> All right, guys, Chocolate Fox, and check this out. We have the Chocolate Fox. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, come look right here. 
That's right. <laughs> it's even on the shirts, guys. This was the car used for the shirts, and he just opened up the hood. I had no idea it was coyote swapped. So, I mean, like, look at this engine bay. Tiffany, don't open my engine bay, okay? <laughs> this is gonna make me look bad here. Oh my goodness. Is this a Gen 1 Coyote? Gen 1 Coyote motor, yeah. Okay. Brand new crate motor. Yeah, that coyote comes with its own harness, right? You, you yep. ditch all the Fox body wiring, right? Yep. Oh man. <laughs> How happy was Jen when, uh, when she found out about your car, I wonder. Because <laughs> it's perfect for the show. Yeah, I mean, I, I reached out to her first. I'm like, yeah. hey, I know you guys do a contest. Yeah. Yeah, they usually do the contest for Fox Toberfest. Yeah, like I'd like to enter my name. Right <laughs> and I think you won right then. I don't know. <laughs> it's an 82 GT. It is a GT, right? Is it LX? No, it's a. Uh, it's actually a four-cylinder coupe. Oh, okay. So All right. Four-cylinder automatic. Okay. So. It was, but it's yeah. It's a. I mean, coupe. Color. Everybody loves a coupe. <laughs> Look at the inside, man. Are these the ri original seats or? Yeah, those, those front seats are from a 79 Pace car. Okay. I just had them recovered and I ditched the halos for it. Yeah, these look nice. Is it auto or manual? It's manual. Is it's it? a uh, Tremec 3550? 3550. Okay. I had it rebuilt by Hanlon. Hanlon, okay, yep. Hanlon Motorsports is going to be out Chocolate Fox tomorrow. How long you had the car? About nine years at this point. Fall 2018 bought the motor. Okay. And it was about a 11 month process. Do it yourself or? Oh, it was me, my father, a friend, of, a friend of his. He's got a nice garage at his house. Yeah. He's definitely a guru when it comes to this kind of stuff. An amazing person to help. Yeah, but you got, your, you got your hands in this basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would feel bad if it wasn't at least a little bit involved. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I've kind of learned, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I started out paying out, shelling out checks. And uh, I learned that that's not actually the best way. Um, it does mean more to me, you know, when you drive it yourself, so. Oh, yeah. So I guess this makes about, did you have it, ever have it on a dyno or anything? I have it on a dyno. Let me guess. I'm gonna guess first. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna guess around 430. Had it tuned at 425 on okay. 93 octane. Adam at Revolution Auto outside Baltimore, Maryland. He did, he did all the work for tuning it. You're kind of local. How far are you away from the show? Uh, it was only about an hour and a half drive for me. Okay, just, yeah, that's a little closer than it was for me. Just a little bit. <laughs> Maybe about six hours. But I uh, see so you, you drove this the whole way or did you? Yep, I'm driving. I'm driving everywhere. My man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we like to drive ours here on the channel. Well, she is stunning. I bet she's a lot of fun too. Oh, she's a blast. And you brought, I think you brought your mom and dad with you today, right? Yep, brought them in this car here, but his car is over at the hotel right now. He's got okay. an 86 coupe. Oh, okay. And basically, when I swapped this, everything that came out of that, we found a roller for him, put everything in that car. He's oh, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Paint was obviously redone. Yes. It's not the original color, is it? It is pretty much the original okay. color. We just had a little custom tint to it. Okay. A little, little bit lighter, a little bit more metallic. I like the metallic in it. Oh, look at this guy's 5.0 liter coat at Cody. I like your white face gauges too. Oh my goodness, those pedals almost look like you could eat all of the, them. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Man, it is so nice in here. The seats feel good. Oh, and I see your ECU. Is this your ECU down here? Yep, it looks that's like? where it's mounted on here. Okay. Very cool. Steering wheel. So you've had it, you yep. said about nine years. Yep, about nine years at this point. And how long has it been done like this? Fully finished, probably fall of 19. Okay, so you've been joining it for oh, about a year and a half or so? Yeah, actually we lost that whole year last year. So I know. We're running together. Yes, <laughs> we should not talk about that thing. <laughs> Beautiful car, okay, so it's so funny. When he pulled up guys, I was like, this car looks very familiar and stuff. It's another chocolate box. He's like, yeah, I, I was on the picture and everything. Then it connected, then I realized it. I realized who you were. We know each other by like, or I know people by their screen names yeah. and stuff. So, <laughs> was, oh, okay. This had to be custom, I guess, right? To get yeah. it to match. Yep, guy did all the paint work. He actually got one of those hobby syringes from Hobby Lobby and that's how he did all really? of that. Really? <laughs> uh, it looks great. What do you have for uh, rear end gears? 355s. I tried 410s, but then when I realized I didn't want mm -hmm. to take it to the track and Put it in a wall yeah and like 355 is just so much better on the yeah highway. yeah the four tens are no fun on the highway are they <laughs> we just had to rebuild my rear end i don't even think that video might have not gone up yet before i drove it the 1700 miles put gears in and matt and matt's like you want to go 355 i'm like i got the six feet so i'm go 373 <laughs> <laughs> but i think 410 would have been too much for me there so man you have a beautiful beautiful car thank you i appreciate it thank you yeah so much. and it's obviously gonna be at the show tomorrow right so yep, will be all right let's be the poster child for the show <laughs> <laughs> cool all right guys well be sure to check out his instagram if you want to see more of this beautiful car and thanks a lot for sharing the car with channel buddy. thank you very much i appreciate it yeah
We're out here at the pre-meet still. A lot more Fox bodies here now. Ignore the SUV there. <laughs> and I got Matt with me. It's been a while, Matt. Hey, where yeah. you been? I've been driving, man. Why? I don't You're because not breaking down. <laughs> you must have put my car together. I don't know. So, <laughs> seventeen hundred miles, Matt. So Matt's gonna give these out if you showed up here. We're giving away Gearhead seven hundred four decals, but man, I want you to see how the engine bay is doing first. So I should have got <laughs> Della for this segment. But she's got a beer, so oh, what? she's getting in the car. Hey. What the? Oh, I thought we were going. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, she's good for YouTube. Anyway, see, it's dirty. This is all I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you. I actually drove it 1,700 miles. Oh, that yeah. was all. Look at that. Legitimate dust. Other than that, though, I checked, seriously, before I left Matt, before I left North Carolina, I checked the coolant and the oil, and it was 100%. No leaks. Actually, you know what I haven't done? I haven't thanked him on video yet. I thanked him in person for rebuilding the rear end. So, Matt. Oh. If yeah, it wasn't I was for say, you, you've done all the work, but no, I haven't on that. Right, well, that's fair, but we had to make that happen. We were stuck, and guys, it wasn't just me. You, if you know the watch the videos, you know, Della also partook in that. Yeah, she's. Oh, what is she doing? Who knows? But <laughs> <laughs> officially, thank you for helping to rebuild my rear end. You there will. we go. I appreciate it. I would yeah. not have made it 1,700 miles without these guys. You so, all right, what are you writing on here? This is original Celine, man. Uh, I actually do because, well, oh my look god, at, I love the tag. Look at two things. This is up here, uh, the inside, what oh, y'all, you know, the four motors, four tag, yeah. yeah. And then look in here, Steve always did this, but what, what you love these halo seats, I know you do, yeah. He's 85 interior, isn't it? Yeah, he signed it. If it's a clone, it's a very good job. Well, right? it's got the plaque with the serial number right yeah, there. Yeah, so we think it's legit, guys. Yeah, it looks a little low mileage too. Yeah. What kind of engine is this? I guess it's just a, it's got a supercharger it's, on it's it. It's a supercharger. This yeah. is an old school supercharger, right? Well, it's carbureted. Oh. Not a blow through. Just oh, interesting. Look at the black and red interior. Is this the original color? Pattern? These are 92, 93 seats with the 84 to 86 non cruise. Oh yeah. And yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking of cruise. My cruise control isn't working. I forgot to tell him yet. <laughs> Something else. What did you do to it? Oh, what did I do? I drove it. I don't know. <laughs> now look at these 84s, Matt. Yeah, a pair of them. A pair of them. Not T-top like you, but look at yeah. look at the seats though. He has an 84 as well. A GG3. Oh, yeah. yeah, but it's 11 got miles. 11 mile. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? It's rough though. Is that the one that's all feet up in their video? Oh, they've seen the video. I love that. All right. <laughs> Matt, Matt, give those guys a couple of stickers, well, I too. I was like, what a cool car until you got around the other side. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this is how the seats were supposed to look. Yeah. yeah. They're supposed to look like this, Matt. Well, the ones look like that, but it's got dots Why? to where the paint melted the paint. it. Look at that. Oh, right here. You're talking about... No, no, no. To the left. No, the this left. one? Yeah. Every, okay. All the GT350s get the insignia plaque with the uh, horseshoe. Oh, uh, okay. I knew that. Well, actually, that's why I bring him around and tell me that stuff. <laughs> this is unique, then. Okay. I've never seen one of those. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. That's pretty cool. We got a Calypso back over here, Matt. I like these white. I, I do, do like you? the white on those GT350s. I do. I do. I mean, Did, could they come in a different color? Well, I'm not. No. They're only this, right? Yeah. Only like this. I'm. I'm not a fan of white cars in general. But yeah. Like these with the accents with the red and the black trim. I just. I don't know. I just really like. It's those. nice. Another four eye. Matt gets excited on the four. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get a four eye now because of it, ha it looks like it, doesn't it? So far. Let's see if it has a curve. Wait, how do you... How do you uh, uh, that ain't gonna help. Wrong year for it. Yeah. I was gonna say, how do you tell the difference between an 85 and an 86? I, Other than uh, the I do know. From the outside, from the outside, I do not know. the engine. Because the 86 has two tailpipes. No, no, you're wrong. Okay. You're wrong. Wrong again. Eh, see, wrong. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just the 85 yeah. was a wide pipe to single and then back out and another wide pipe. Oh, did it? Dual, it I thought it came tips. out with the, the one tip that had duels. Okay. No, no, no. That was 84. Okay. Well, I knew that something. That was 79 to 84. Okay. All right. So how do you tell visually? From the outside? Yeah. 86, they put a third brake light in. Did, oh, that was the first year? Okay. Yeah. 85 and down, they did not have third All right. So from the outside, driving down the road, that's an easy way to tell it. Okay. 86. All right. Did, did any of you guys watch the Gearhead 704 YouTube channel? We appreciate it. You can always use the clicks. Even if you don't watch, just click and walk away. It's fine. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Another convertible. Yeah. I love the convertible. Oh, Ooh, look at this. That is a Fox body right there. That's right, right T-Bird. T-Bird. 88. 88. Nice. With the drag lights. Yes, sir. 302 still? Yes, sir. All right. It's still original. You in the show tomorrow? Yep. Yes. Sure am. Awesome. We want more of these for sure. Awesome. Nice car, man. Came all the way up from Cleveland, Ohio. Did you really? Did you drive the car the whole time? How many hours? Uh, five. Five and a half. All right. Then, then she still works pretty good then. 
works amazing. AC's pumping nice and cold. Oh, Matt, what are you gonna fix my AC, man? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, gotta do that. Do I gotta, you gotta stop breaking her in. I know, I know. What did you want, AC or for the car to drive? All right, all right, fair point. Nice car, man, nice car. Oh yeah, take a, take a decal sticker. What's the part in that interior that's out of an 85, 86? Oh boy, oh boy, he's quizzing me here. It's not the steering wheel. Well, that is. Oh, okay, <laughs> I lost again. They ask you how you are, you just have to say. Well, I can tell you both of these look like they have the original front, the original mounting style for the front okay. bumpers. So. so it must be original Cobra here too then. I haven't asked you this, but I know you're not big on colors, but if right. you had to pick a Cobra color, you know, the teal, the red, or the black, what? Man, it doesn't I, really matter, right? Black. Okay. I'm okay. Go I'm with. Back. I'm with you, man. I do like eight pillar pods. See, yeah, those For are cool. Ages, I the eight pillar pods have always been my favorite. Yeah. Still rolling in, guys. Look another one. Keep coming in. This one's came in pretty good. Ooh, there you go. This one's got a five lug swap, but it's not is it not? It's, it's not. not five well, look, it's not. I was wrong. Okay. Wouldn't be the first time, man. They ask you how you are. You just have to. See. Wouldn't be the first time. Two, three. Oh, you four. gotta count? What do you gotta count? No, I'm showing you how to count. Oh, is he? <laughs> I'm really excited about these two in particular, Matt. Can you tell me why I'm excited about these two for you? No idea. You have no idea? No idea. All right, what kind of intake manifolds do they have? I don't know what those are. They look oh, weird. come on, man. <laughs> what are you doing? This is your favorite intake manifold. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks good. Aesthetically, yeah. Aesthetically, I love them. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's true. You I gotta got got clarify. Too. I do. And it's gonna go on something one day. But I got a plaque. You don't have a plaque. More coming in. Uh oh. We got an SSP hey, car. There we go. There we yeah. go. I need that spotlight for my SSP. Yeah, you do. You yeah. need a spotlight for yep. your SSP. Yes. Absolutely. Sounds good, that push ride. This was the chocolate one I saw. Now look at this. T-top. Ooh, there we go. GT40 intake. Black. Uh, come here. Come on. All right. Got a All question right. for you. All right, uh-uh. So this does not look like an arrow. It looks like a, another year, like a 4i. Something like that. I don't know. It's a hatch. I know that, but yeah. what is that? Back over here. All right, all right. See anything that looks familiar? No. It's an SBO one, huh? It's an SBO sail panel. It's having a lot of fun out here. A lot more Fox bodies showed up. Uh, I did have time lapse coin in this camera right here, but it ran out. But Fox is everywhere. Really like that Thunderbird over there. I like the non, I really enjoy the non Mustang Fox bodies. Matt went through with me. We looked at kind of all the cars, and some of that will make the video. Honestly, we did it for like, I don't know, 20 minutes. So some of that will make the video, but really it's just a hangout time. Another one of these hangout meets. I think we're basically at capacity. Look, foxes everywhere, pretty much except a little bit of locals over here. That's pretty much it. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed particularly getting to talk about that car, the 82, not a GT. I think I said it was a GT several times, but uh, 82 Coupe, Coyote Swaps. Amazing car, <laughs> really amazing car. And yeah, just, just a lot of fun out here. I'm really enjoying doing all the shows. It's my first year truly on the show circuit. And if you want to see how I made my trips to my shows, I haven't mentioned this, but I have the Gearhead 704 Instagram. So I put all the uh, videos I'm taking up on my stories. They're on my Instagram. I put them in a highlight. So you can check that out if you want to see kind of my trips to the shows. I don't put them in these videos. So I'd appreciate that. But anyway, that's going to be kind of it for this one. I'm going to hang out tonight, get ready for tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. That helps me out a lot. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe because I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday. And we'll see you here next time on Gearhead 704. I want to pop the engine and you know let you do your doc fox thing don't pop the engine oh I, we've already <laughs> rebuilt it we did do it Whoop. change something under here with no no okay. i just you know i don't trust him i feel like he, he feels like i'm messing with him but he's used to working the shop honestly della he's used to working the shop with you, and you i mean i don't oh <laughs> Bleep, you heard the duck. I make the duck quack. Della, you always make the duck quack on the channel. I think I'm deleting most of this, by the way. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's going to be a long video. It is gold. It's I know. Well, see, because of her. You got to have to. I keep wah, wah, wah with her. One of the things the pre meat you got to have. What do you got to have, babe? There we go. Oh, who is that? That is a famous celebrity. Della!